Hi, welcome all to uh, my channel, Mission 919, devoted to stories and narratives of uh, information um, of African achievement, well-being, and prosperity. And today, uh, I want to talk about uh, the issue of uh, statues in the United States. There's a lot of controversy now about uh, Confederate statues and uh, beyond Confederate statues. Uh, a lot of people want to take down statues of uh, Confederate generals, politicians, etc. Uh, then there are other people who, who want to take down uh, statues of other people, uh, including uh, Andrew Jackson, uh, Ulysses S. Grant, um, and then also uh, <clears throat> a statue of uh, Frederick Douglass was uh, was uh, taken down uh, from its uh, perch in Rochester, uh, New York. Um, so my, I guess my point of view is um, that I think uh, Confederate statues should be removed because of the uh, noxious cause that they served and uh, their attempt to uh, destroy the Union. Um, that it's quite problematic that any of those figures are lionized and respected and memorialized in that manner. Um, so that's a problem and uh, I would tend to agree that they should be removed. However, I think the larger issue uh, for African Americans um, and the country as a whole um, is that there should be many more monuments and statues devoted to African Americans and their achievements. And that is the key question. Uh, the question is whether or not the history of Af history and achievements of African Americans are appropriately um, inscribed into the landscapes of the country. And I would say that they are not. And that has uh, very many uh, deleterious effects on the, uh, on the society as a whole and on African Americans in particular. And so I think that uh, uh, there should be uh, many monuments to uh, the soldiers and sailors of the Civil War. Um, I think there should be monuments to the liberation of Richmond and the liberation of Charleston. There should be a monument to the, uh, the African American community that um, founded uh, essentially Decoration Day, which we call Memorial Day now. Um, we need uh, statues and monuments to the Seminoles, whose story is uh, ver very undertold in the United States, almost virtually unknown. Uh, and then there's uh, many different individuals, like, um, like uh, Louis Latimer, uh, the scientist, uh, Robert Smalls, uh, uh, a hero of the Union Navy and a politician during Re Reconstruction. Um, you know, people like George Washington Carver. Um, many, many, many other people. Uh, Harriet Jacobs, Osborne Anderson, um, W.E.B. Du Bois. Uh, you know, we could go on and on and on. And so I think that is the issue that is uh, the most important to consider. And that would have the, the best, most uh, beneficial effect for the society as a whole and for African-Americans in particular and African-American youth most particularly. So uh, in the name of the ancestors and the unborn, the name of the ancestors and the unborn were the same Ashe, 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 and we'll see you soon.